All right, my name is Jerome Kunze. I'm uh, documenting my, uh, assembling my slinky for my geothermal that I bought from Ingram's Water and Air. Um, I have 75 feet rolled up here that's going to go from the start of the slinky into my utility room to the manifold. I've marked one end with red tape here so I don't get mixed up once this is buried, which is uh, supply and which is return. Okay, and I already made a few slinky loops here. First time I've ever done this, not too bad once you get, get the hang of it. Um, I'm not tying these together right here because I was told that it's easier to roll this up for storage without that on a video I watched on YouTube on how to do this. A very good video um, on slinky assembly. If you look for that, you'll probably find it. Anyway, um, I have my marks at 18 inches here. 18 inches, 18 inches, so that my my loops come out at they're actually 30 inch diameter. 36, I take that back. Okay, and I made a kind of a crude turntable here to unroll that. Um, make sure when you put the roll down that it, your end is going to be facing this way to pull these loops off. Um, anyway. That's where I'm at right now. There are numbers on here every two feet. Let's see if I can get out. It's upside down here, but this is 652 feet right here. And there you have 662. So if you know you need 75 feet out, you can just go find a number, and that's that's your 75 feet. You don't have to drag your tubing out and measure it. You can if you want, if you don't feel safe doing it with the numbers, but I don't see why you couldn't do it just with the numbers anyway. And then, of course, when I get to the end of this, we'll have a straight pipe going all the way back. So when you make your slinky, uh, just remember that when you get to that point. Anyway. That's where I'm at for now. I'm going to keep on going and I'll document some more as I get further into this.